In today's video, we've got five different cases for the iPhone 12 by Torres. Now, I wanna thank the guys at Torres for sending these over to review on the channel. I'll leave a link in the description below on all five cases covered in this video. I'm also gonna make sure each one works with a MagSafe wireless charger. So let's go ahead and get started. First case up is the Diamond Series, and it's currently about $22 on Amazon. This one's got a hard plastic on the back and then a softer TPU material around the edges. Pretty snug fit. This is gonna be as close as you can get to not having a case on here. Looks like the power and volume buttons stick out just enough so you can tell where they're located. And they both seem to work pretty good as well. You can see the power and volume buttons are covered by that TPU material and then a cutout for the ring and silent switch. And you got a nice oversized cutout for the charging port. There is a lip there around the cutout for the cameras, so you don't have to worry about getting those scratched up. Overall, this is a really nice case, and I think it gives you a little extra grip on the phone. Now the question is, does it work with the MagSafe charger? Yep, it works. <laughs> Okay, so I can tell you already, this style of case is definitely one of my favorites. Cool thing is they give you different colors for buttons. It's almost got a soft touch material to it. It's got a hard plastic on the back. You can see it's kind of transparent. And then it's got like a soft touch TPU material around the edges. You've also got a hole down here on the side for a lanyard. And you can see how you can still see the logo through the back just a little bit. Nice cutout and lip around the cameras on the back. And it's got just enough lip around the front to protect the screen. Power and volume buttons work on here really good as well. I think the buttons could stick out just a hair more on the sides, but it's still pretty easy to tell where they're located. Nice cutout on the bottom as well for the charging port and speaker. As far as grip goes, it does have like a soft touch material, but it doesn't feel slippery or anything like that where it's just gonna fall out of your hand. So yeah, I'm definitely liking this case. Now let's see if it charges. And of course it works with the MagSafe wireless charger. Next case up is about 25 bucks and this thing is super shiny. Only downside is it feels a little bit slippery. I'm guessing because they had to paint this material and you can see this one's definitely got some flex to it. Okay, so you can see it's a little bit darker than the product red iPhone. You can see the power and volume buttons don't really stick out a lot on this one, but they actually work just fine. You've also got a nice cutout for the ring and silent switch. Nice little cutout and bumper for the rear facing cameras. Looks like you can get fingerprints on this one fairly easy, but I'm sure that would just wipe right off. Nice cutouts on the bottom, oversized for the charging port. And then this is what I would call minimum screen protection. I mean, it protects it. I just wish it would stick up just a hair more. I can't say this shiny red would be my first choice, but I'm sure some of you out there might like it. And yes, this one works with the MagSafe charger as well. Next case up is about $22 on Amazon, and you can get three different colors, matte black, real red, and rose gold. Now, weird thing is they sent me a blue one that I don't actually see on Amazon, so I'm not sure if it's just not available yet or what. This one's really rigid, and it doesn't really flex at all. So even though it's really thin, it looks like it's gonna protect it pretty good. Nice large opening for the ring and silent switch. It's a really nice lip on the back for the rear facing cameras. And then cutouts for the charging port and speakers on the bottom. As far as grip goes, this one actually feels pretty decent. Feels almost like a soft touch material. It's definitely not like a regular TPU material. It does seem to be a little bit softer. Even though this is a super slim case, it still has just enough lip to protect the screen.
Yep. And this one charges just fine as well on a MagSafe wireless charger. I was almost done editing this video and I got another case in the mail from Torres. So I thought I'd throw this one in here real quick. They don't really label these that good, so I'm not sure what model this is. Other than it's just got a hard plastic on the back. Okay, this actually looks pretty decent. As you can see, it's got a blue TPU material around the edges. Power and volume buttons are covered, just like all the other cases. And they actually work pretty good as well. Nice cutouts on the bottom, as expected. Nice protection around the cameras on the back as well. Also just enough lip there to protect the screen. And of course, it works with the wireless MagSafe charger. Next case up, they're calling the Moon Climber, and this one actually looks pretty nice. Currently, it's about $23. I don't know if I've seen a clear case like this that has a built-in kickstand. This one's got a hard plastic on the back, and then a softer material around the edges. Definitely gives it a little more unique look on the back with the kickstand there. I don't know, I kind of like it with that. And the kickstand actually feels like metal. It even gives you a couple different angles to use. Just keep adjusting it to your liking. Power and volume buttons are covered by the TPU material with a nice opening for the ring and silent switch. Well, I think they could make them stick out a little more. It's still not too bad to find where they're located. And they both work pretty good as well. Looks like you've got a little bit of a bumper around the cameras on the back. You've also got a pretty good size cutout for the charging port. You can sort of see the thickness with the kickstand there. Just barely a lip around the edges, so it should be enough to protect the screen. And then to end the video, let's go ahead and see if it works on the charger. Oh, well, that's weird. It didn't bring it up. Yep, it does. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.